Hi everyone, this is Ginger Pana. I wanted to come to do a quick video share of my zine. And I am part of the Zine Craze collaboration hosted by Tina, who is Tell Him Thank You here on the YouTube. Um, we are to do a zine every month for this year and load it on the first Thursday of the month. So today is the first Thursday of the month. So here goes. Um, I try to, if you follow me, I hope you follow me on all my zine um, journey, but I try to pick something that's very meaningful to me um, so that you get to know me. And one of the things that I'm very, uh, I, I love to talk about is my love for Jesus. So in this zine is 4th of July, since July is has Independence Day. And 4th of July means a lot of things to us. And one of the things that it does mean to me is um, it's about freedom. So I found some really cute clip art that I printed that kind of, I searched for like Christian meanings for 4th of July and tried to really study the Bible about our freedom that Jesus had given us when he died for our sins. Um, and this came up, and this is really cute. It's a watermark digital set, so you'll see it throughout my zine. But this one says, Faithful, Forgiven, and Free. So I thought that was perfect. I have a fireworks um, spray up here with some bling in it. And here is a cross in red, white, and blue, like the flag. Okay, so before I start my zine, my zine is a prayer... Um, to God about our freedom and being faithful in his word and I found it while I was I, I love to read Christian blogs and this one comes from Debbie McDaniel and freedom by definition means the power or right to act speak or think as one wants without hindrance or restraint freedom is powerful it is a gift a treasure the most significant important gifts of life are always worth fighting for, and often they come with a great price. They are not free. Somewhere along the way, someone paid dearly for the liberties we enjoy so freely today, but often we forget. It's easy to take them for granted. We enjoy freedom, but most of us alive today have always had it. We may not even be fully aware of just how many men and women have paid dearly for the gifts we enjoy today. The price was paid through many long years. This is a week to remember. This is a week to be grateful. This is a week to say thank you to those who have gone before us, to those who protect and serve our nation today, and most importantly to our Savior who paid the ultimate price so that we can live free forever. Freedom is a precious gift. Thank God for it today. Okay, so, which opens up my zine. <coughs> Excuse me. So in here is part of the clip art that I got from the, um, the package that I purchased. And it's kind of a watercolor image. And I just love what caught my eye were these girls. And there's another set of girls on the following pages. But in this whole zine... I do a prayer, and um, so I typed it. Again, it's from Debbie McDaniel. McDaniel. She does this awesome prayer um, about our freedom. And so I decided to type it up and make it fit onto my zine. So in the background, I have glittered paper. So throughout the zine, it's red, white, and blue. Okay. And let me just go through the prayer really quickly. Dear God, we thank you for the freedom you have given to us and for the price that was paid by Jesus so that we could live free. We remember today the cost of it all. Help us to walk in the ways that you lead. We desire to follow your voice, to press in close and hear your heart for our nation. And I'm here. Father, forgive us for when we have gone our own way. Show us a path to a closer walk with you. Help us to live every day that you give with purpose and passion, never forgetting the sacrifice of your son on our behalf. Help us to live our lives <clears throat> excuse me, in a way that brings full honor and glory to you. 
I think I'm coming down with something. So then this next page, I have it in white. So it's in silver glitter paper. I have some banners from the clip art. And these are stickers from, I think, uh, Doodlebug. Okay. So it says, Lord, bless those who have given and continue to give so sacrificially of their own lives so that we can continue to enjoy the freedom in our nation today. <clears throat> Bless their families, protect them and their loved ones, provide for their needs, fill them with your strength and grace, help us not to take our freedom for granted. May we always remember that the liberties we so freely enjoy cost others their very lives. Thank you that in this nation today we are free to worship, we are free to pray, we are free to read your word, we are free to speak, we are free to share. For this we are incredibly grateful. Yet we understand how quickly these freedoms can be taken away. Give us an increased awareness of the spiritual battle we're in. Help us to stand strong in you, for you, and for your purposes. And then this last page is the blue. So blue glitter. Here's more um, cutouts that I fussy cut out from the uh, paper pack that I bought, or the digital pack that I bought. These are stickers from that same doodlebug line, and I put a bling in the starburst. And this ends the prayer saying, Thank you, Lord, that no matter what we face, you hold the final say. Thank you for your presence with us. Thank you that you are strong. Thank you that you fight for us, and we are never alone. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. So this is from Psalms thirty-three, twelve. I think I just misspelled. I forgot the S on Psalm. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord, the people he choose for his inheritance. So this is my zine share um, for the month of July. And here in the back, I did a, another silver. This is a really old, I think it's from Darcy's. Um, I can't remember the whole name, but it's from that Darcy company. So it was print um, cut apart. So I fussy cut out the bears, the bear. This is from the Doodle Bug Pack. And then, of course, I always stamp my social media. So when you open it up, it's really beautiful. I like it. So it has, like, the red, white, and blue. And then... Here, the red, white, and blue, and then the cover and the back cover, I made it in this, this silver. So the silver represents the white. Okay, so when it's Xeroxed, it Xerox pretty good. So if you can see really cl up close, you can kind of see the pickup of the glitter paper and on this side. And then these bling really popped out of the fireworks. And all of the um, paper that I cut out, I um, inked it in a light black, well, soft black, okay? Just to make it pop and so it doesn't look so, the contrast wasn't so harsh. Okay, everyone, I hope you had a really great 4th of July. I am recovering majorly from my son's wedding. I started a series, if you notice. Um, I will continue it in the aftermath. I just needed to catch up on my sleep. My body was used to, to only having a two hours sleep a day for I don't know how long. So um, stay tuned. I will be back. And also, thank you, Tina, for hosting this um, zine collab. Check out the ladies below in this zine collab with me. There are 10 others as we follow us through our journey with our scenes. Thank you, everyone. Goodbye.